and over here I just wanted to make a mention on the fit of this model which is just generally terrible it certainly never had any accolades thrown to it at all uh, I mean the raised panel lines here are another uh, hassle that a lot of modelers have noted and I suppose you could sand them all off but I'm not about to there's about two hundred dollars worth of accuratizing resin parts you can buy for the Star Destroyer but it, this thing is just such a terrible fit that I'm not gonna bother with that at all uh, just from join lines back here meeting uh, mostly on the corners are where things didn't line up and this top piece here I may have to glue this down I was hoping to keep this open for access but uh if I need to glue it down to get a good seal then I'll do that after I wire up the bridge and if I also do that I'll cut all this middle interior out so that ultimately I'll still have access from underneath because the two main halves will never be sealed uh, for mounting points I'm gonna put one here and then I haven't decided on where the other one goes by putting a rigging mounting point here I can get back shots and bottom, but then if I want any front shots, obviously it, something sticking out of that won't work. So I'll have to find another spot that's either uh, somewhere in the back, but I'll worry about that later. What I'll do for those is probably get a lot of popsicle sticks, stack them up into a nice solid piece of uh, wood, and then drill a hole straight into that. But that's a long ways away after I've got all the fiber optics going on. So uh, I don't think there's anything more to say about this at this point. I mainly wanted to cover the fiber optics and the exceptionally poor fit that the whole thing has.